the most powerful church in whole Europe. The Kingdom Church presents Bishop Climate Ministries A place where the captives are set free and where the members are wealthy, healthy, and wise. Your breakthrough is now. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Join the vision and be free. Praise your, name. Praise your name. This is the day that you have made. The world rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name. Father, I want to thank you for favor, blessing, and breakthrough. Holy Spirit, will welcome you. Lord, I ask you to manifest your presence in this place. Teach, heal, deliver every one of us. We thank you for your power and your presence. And everybody say amen. amen. Say with me, God in me, God in me. Manifest, manifest your presence. Your presence. God, in me, God in me, manifest, manifest your, wisdom. your wisdom. God in me, God in me manifest, manifest your, healing. your healing. God in me, God in me manifest, manifest your, favor. your favor. If you believe it right now, give Jesus a mighty of praise right now. Turn with me quickly to the book of Malachi. In the book of Malachi chapter 1, verse 11. Mm -hmm. This morning we're here in the presence of God, the NIV, Malachi chapter 1, verse 11. And says, My name will be great among the nations. From the rising to the setting of the sun. In every place, incense and pure offering will be brought to my name. Because my name will be great among the nation, says the Lord Almighty. Now, what does the Bible say this morning? My name will be great among the nation. From the rising to the setting of the sun. In every place, remember the Bible says place. Someone say place. place. Say again place. place. Someone say place. place. The reason why you begin to realize that in churches... Any, there are no longer any more great things. People are no longer, there is no more great things happening. What is the problem? Because people, they have forgotten the most important thing. God says, he says that my name will be great among the nation. The first blessing that God talked to Abraham, he said that leave your father and mother, and leave your kindred and go to a land that I'll show you. I will make your name great. So if you are here this morning, I want to let you know, when the presence of God comes upon you, either you like it or not, you are going to be somebody. Amen. It does not matter what they told you. It does not matter how they pull you down. It does not matter what happened five years ago, ten years ago. I want to let you know, forget about the former thing. God is about to do something great in your life. That is why, get yourself ready as you inhale his presence. You are here right now. The power of God is going to come down. You're going to inhale his presence. Once you inhale, how many of you know when you, when you, when you breathe in oxygen? And what do you breathe out? Carbon what? dioxide. So when you inhale something, something must be excelled. So get yourself ready as you begin to inhale his presence. You are going to excel his favor. Wherever you go, you're going to excel his breakthrough. This presence is going to take, is going to take it with you. Am I speaking to somebody here now? He says, my name will be great among the nations from the rising to the setting of the sun. In every place, incense and pure offering will be brought to my name because my name will be great among the nations, says the Lord Almighty. There is somebody here I came to let you know. A season has come for you to arise and shine because the glory of the Lord is going to be manifested in every area of your life. Somebody here today when I was praying, I saw God manifest himself on your behalf. 
love wherever you go the way they used to see you yesterday the way they used to look at you a few days ago they are gonna look you totally different if you believe it wave your hands and say I believe I receive 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 the Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 11 you begin to see every time when you hear frankincense, when you hear incense, is the beginning of great things. The Lord begin to speak to me, and I don't know. I don't know. Let me share with you some. Uh, my life has completely, totally changed after having this frankincense service. Uh, all what I know, and what I know for sure here is, and every one of us that you're here right now, God, there are things that God has been showing in the spirit. You have no clue. God is fixing this and fixing that one. You may not see anything right now but there are some things like, 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 like God is fixing here a puzzle piece bring it here and here and one of these days when it's finished everybody will look at you they will not even be able to remember you they'll hear the voice and they'll say is that you and the Bible says on coming to the house they saw the child with his mother Mary they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures, presented him with the gifts of gold and of incense and myrrh. Uh, put for me King James. These were the wise men, the Magi. Who were the Magi? Magi, uh, 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 these people, the Bible says they came from far. I want to be able to share with you. Some of you, you have no clue what's going around in your life. And I want you to understand why it's so important for this where frankincense service is concerned. Why is it so important? Why is it so important? I came to let you know, you are stuck cannot be shut down anymore Amen. I say you are star cannot be shut down anymore Amen. these people the Bible tells us they came looking these were the wise men they came looking for Jesus some was hallelujah and the Bible tells us I want you to understand when they came they came and found him the baby has just been born now if you sit down many of us who have never used our brain to think a little bit and ask ourselves when did they know about this story that Jesus was about to be born they did not know then because this the Bible said they traveled from far they have been traveling for days so even before Jesus was born somebody had a revelation a king has been born did you hear what I said so I want you to know that when you're walking around in the street there, there already somebody already, even before you discover who you are, there is somebody already knows who you are. Amen. Someone say hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened up their treasure, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We know sometimes we always say, you know, oh, you know, I think there were three wise men. There's nowhere in the scripture talks about three wise men, but it talks about three type of gifts. Gift number one, gold, which represents gold is for kings. Frankincense represents God. And more represents death. Why did they bring especially? Number one, they acknowledged before even they arrived. Already the star, these were astrologers. They had already read the stars, and there is a particular star that appeared. And when they read that star, when they did the reading, that star told them about Jesus, told them where he is. Am I speaking to somebody here now? I am here to let you know after this frankincense service. Listen to me, no one will be able to mess up around with you anymore. Anyone trying to Google you to destroy you, they cannot succeed because this presence of God is going to go with you let them say what they want to say but out of every situation god is going to bless you if you believe it wave your hands right now and shout hallelujah and if you're here right now you are you know you, 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 you have a job already you're in a high paying job you have a business you have a destiny you need this you need this with you because when this presence goes with you wherever you go they are going to be to have miracles am i speaking to somebody here now after this frankincense service let anybody try to mess up with you god is going to deal with them because why because you are walking with the presence of god and it says here now, the Bible said they presented to him gifts. Number one, gold. Gold represents a king. Number two, frankincense, which represents God. Number three, man. But the most amazing thing, these people, already they knew who Jesus was before even they met him. I am here to let you know. Listen to me. 
I say here in the spirit you are becoming too dangerous you are becoming too powerful every month you are moving from glory to glory from favor to favor from blessing to blessing and I don't care what you're going through all oh, what I know is going to be well with you it's going to be well with your children it's going to be well with your business it's going to be well with your career it's going to be well with your destiny it's going to be well with you I say it's going to be well with you I say it's going to be well with you it's going to be well with you if you believe it right now wave your prayer request wherever you are and I want you to declare three times it is well with me say 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 it is well with me sit down with me for a minute sit down with me for a minute listen to me when the burning of the incense is going on it is very important for you to pray when that moment it begins to burn you need to be able to start praying why the Bible tells us in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 8 to 10 this is the New Testament this is the New Testament this is the New Testament it is important for you to pray why in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 8 the Bible begins to say when it came to pass while he executed the priest before God in the order of his cause put for me NIV it says here now once Zachariah this is the father of John John the Baptist this is the father of John the Baptist. And when Zechariah division was on duty, he was serving as a priest before God. He was chosen by lot according to the custom of the priesthood to go into the Lord's temple, into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. This is the New Testament. So what we're doing here is what has been forgotten by the church. No wonder why you begin to realize, you know, the body of Christ, you know, have no more power. But here in the kingdom church, there is power. I said, there is power. Amen. And the Bible tells us, verse 10 says, And when the time for the burning of the incense came, all assembled worshippers were praying outside. That is why I want you to know that when the burning of incense begins, you need to pray. Somebody say, pray. pray. Somebody say, push. push. Somebody say, push. push. In short, P U S H means pray until something happens. So you cannot just be there and you're just sticking your tongue out. No, 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 no. You need to pray. Now listen to me. And I cannot pray for you that time. You're going to pray for yourself. You see, they knew. The Bible tells us. And when the time for the burning of incense came, all assembled, all, 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 all assembled together. All assembled, all assembled worshippers were praying outside. Every time in the Bible when there is a burning of, of incense, automatically angels begin to move around. In this place, angels are about to move around. There are many testimonies that are here. You know, angels will be so angels will so you need to pray. You need to pray because there is something that happens. There is something that happens when when it comes to the burning on incense. The Bible tells us in verse 11 says, the angel of the Lord appeared to him standing at the right side of the altar of incense. So you begin to see the angels always. Why did the angel stand on the right hand side of where, where the incense was? Why did he stand there? Why? Why? What is it this about? What is this? Why? Come down to the Kingdom Church in London and attend the service everyone is talking about. The fire service. God wants to fight all your battles. Write down everything that is bringing confusion, lack into your life. Take a leap of faith and bring a copy of those bills and documents. Many have put their prayer requests into the fire and testified of miracles of healing, deaths and court cases being cancelled. Come and join us every last Friday of the month at 7.30pm here at the Kingdom Church, a place where the captives are truly set free.
man came to this church broken. I'm telling you, this man, when he came to this church, not long ago, a couple of months ago, he came broken. I'm talking about real broken. And when he came in here, his story was all over the place. You ask me, Bishop, what do you mean all over the place? He lost his job. He has been doing his job for seven years. Seven years. Where, as you can see, he's not that young. So at the end of the day, you know, working place for seven years, you have plans made. Then suddenly, he's made jobless because of conspiracy in the working place because his own team leader conspires a dynasty and the man is thrown out of his job. I know the man has to go and start signing with the job seekers on top of that he could not be able to get the job because that because of bad reference because of where some people are nasty making sure the doors are closed and he had to start to try to find another avenue to start a business because he couldn't get a job again because you see can you imagine seven years seven years you've worked seven years seven years faithfully and then you get sacked like a dog and then you have no reference at least if you go sacked if you walk the place for a month you can cover that up you know what i'm talking don't you at least if you walk in a place for two three months you, that can never be in your record you can cover that up but seven years how are you gonna cover it up and it has a bad reference now talk to me now don't you see that is a fix I mean, if you have, for example, you know, if you got dismissed somewhere, you lost your job, you know, two, two, you know, two months, whatever it is, workplace, maybe even a year, a year, you could say, you know, I took the year out. Maybe I took a year out to take care of my pet or a year out to do something. Or I took a year out traveling. But how can take seven years out? <laughs> you see, that's how painful it was. But when he came here, he, he started putting that company and everything into the fire. Suddenly, he lodged a complaint in the tribunal. And they were ready to take him to the tribunal. But when he put their names on the fire, before they could go for the tribunal, they surrendered. They said, you know one thing, we don't want to go to the tribunal. Let's make an out-of-court settlement somebody here tonight your credit life is about to be repaired in jesus name did you hear what i said the bible says a thousand years is like one day before god and one day is like a thousand years there is somebody here they messed up your life but the hand of jehovah is about to recreate your destiny the hand of god is not too short to deliver thee come on if you believe it wave your hands and shout hallelujah Let me, let me hear this, yes. I think him, him have empowered now in Nudal Power with him. He told him it's like this. Him take three weeks holiday mm -hmm. and go to Columbia and get world with jobs as well. So he told him get world with jobs. One here and one in Columbia. I'm in prison in Columbia now. So there were two of them. Yeah. Now, before we come to that testimony, Pastor, I want, I'm trying to explain your journey. You know, you, know, you, you, you choose to take them to tribunal. Yes. And you brought out the papers, you put them on the fire. Yes. And you believe God will give you victory. Seven times I send the paper in the tribune and bishop and them send it back. Uh -huh. And from the day I come to you right there, I said stumbling block in my way. And I send it in back again. This is miracle, Bishop. At one day out at home, I hear the tribune and ring me. My phone ring. The tribune is ringing. Ring me, I'm frightened. Uh -huh. Them say, Mr. Morrison, you have two keys in. You have, to, you, have to, you have to take one and throw one. I say, all right, that's your one, let's make one run. I'm frightened. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm frightened, Bishop. So I say, all right, throw one for the next one run. So when, when I get Bishop, I get the next letter. Say, say the court date is the 8th of October. Then I get the next letter, say they want to take out a court. They want, it was, a, it was supposed to be 8th of October. Yeah. Then they send you another letter, the one an out of court settlement. settlement. Somebody here. I hear big compensation coming on your way. Every spirit of discrimination on your way will command it to die by fire. Now, now listen now. 
this is where this is the company now. The company with the draws. Now the company actually they have been trying because they need to pay him. But not only that, also God gave him favor. He went and applied for some money from job seekers to start a business. Yeah. They refused. He came over here, put it on the fire. I gave him the advice. They gave him the money to start a business. <laughs> Listen to me, child of God. Stretch up your hands. Even in the time of famine, in the time of dryness, Reboko Satanaba. Listen. There's somebody here. As from today, you will never lack. The Bible says he will satisfy you in dry places. This man that you see, God did not abandon him. I am speaking to somebody who received that in Jesus' name. I declare and I decree in your life. You will never come to a point in your life where you will go for a day, for a week with no money to eat, no money to travel, no money to make you comfortable. While you are waiting for the big cake, there will be some small scones here and there to make sure you are well supplied with them. I speak it to somebody here now. Shout hallelujah. Say I believe I receive. Say I believe I receive. Now, that's part one of the testimony. Then suddenly, two weeks ago, you went to the market. Um, you, uh, two weeks ago, you were, you were in East Street Market. Yes, two weeks ago. Now listen, his team leader, the person who was behind him getting sacked, the man has been working in that company for 17 years. Yes. He's a team leader. This man has been working there for seven years. On, so for all this time now, he's waiting for his out of settlement court. Then he received a phone call from a friend in the working place. Someone say, good news. Someone say, bad news. For all my enemy. The phone rings. And what happened? It's, it's last week. Friday. It's last week, Friday. Last week, Friday, Bishop. Uh -huh. This is Miracle again, Bishop. Uh -huh. I was in Brixton looking at suit to go and wedding. Uh -huh. My wife, my wife, brother, wedding. So you're busy in the market yeah. looking for a suit? Yes, uh, and I'm looking for a suit because I'm going to one shop. The man's 120 pound. Mm -hmm. It can't fit me, Bishop. I go to the next shopping, then give me a three-piece suit. The pants is too big. Everything, everything fit me about the pants. Mm -hmm. So the man said, go to East Street. Go to East Street, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. so where Harley is buying my suits. So when I go down to East Street, Bishop, at my shop, as I'm going there, the man said, three suits for a hundred. Three suits? Three suits. For one hundred? One hundred. Someone hallelujah. <laughs> Someone say favor. You went to Brickstone, 120 pounds, one suit cannot even fit you. You even tried another one, three piece, the, 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 the trousers, the pants too big. The something told you go to East Street. When you went there, three suits for one. Somebody give Jesus a mind of praise. Someone say favor. Yes. One well, of the fastest hundred we give the man bishop. One of the fastest hundred we give me. Just take those and give him something. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't wait. I just give him it. I wait, my friend does call me. My friend does call me. So you have some friend, Bishop. When they hear them ring you, it's most gossip. I see this guy ringing. In, in so you have a friend, yeah. but you know every time when he calls you, he's always having gossip yeah. about working place. How many of you know those type of friends? May God give you those type of friends. So they will bring some good reports. Yes. So when, when I answer, him say yes, Dave. Him say, him say what? You know the guy you make you get fire. The guy you make you get fire. Them catch him and sell drugs. I say what you say, Dave? For real? We have to call him the next day again, Bishop. Him say yes, then catch him. After Monday morning, what one the next work 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 me at call me. I say he gone Donovan. Them catch him for true. Wait a minute now. Those who did not understand, let me explain this to you. He was over in his street man. Then suddenly, this phone comes, he sees this guy's number, he knows him. He knows his Pararanyonyo or in the working place. But something tells him, pick up the phone. When he pick up the phone, he says, you know, what's his name, Dave? Dave. He says, Dave, I say, what? What do you want? He says, you know, let me tell you, you know the guy who got you fired, the team leader? He says, yes. He has been arrested with drugs in the van and they have fired him. Some say, hallelujah. He could not believe it. So next day, he calls another workmate. And he confirms 
that the guy has been fired and the way they send him out is like a dog 17 years gone on the train he pushes seven years god multiply is seven plus ten to let you know that jehovah is jehovah i am speaking to somebody here anyone that messed up your life may the lord mess them in jesus name i wish on my enemy oh yes the man's name in the fire. Yeah? Yes, Bishop. How many times? I'm going to come here, Bishop, and yesterday I'm going to speak to you and then the fire service. I put them in the fire. Now stop burning them. I'm burning them, burning, burning. I'm going to burn the whole bone to ashes. Burning. What can you tell people that are here today? You see, you see, because what you went through is completely injustice. What can you tell them about the fire service? They must come to the church and believe it's never you bishop i only feel so happy if i come here i feel happy did you ever thought god can work that way yes and you believed it yes somebody shout hallelujah today somebody get yourself ready hey thank you for watching bishop climate tv i know you have been blessed here are four ways you can connect to the prophet today. One, call now, 4420-8114-9390 for prayer. Two, come during free prophetic hour and meet the man of God personally. Every Sunday between 9 to 10 a.m., no appointment needed. Three, attend our powerful miracle services, Friday, 7.30 p.m., Sunday at 11 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. And four, visit our website, www.bishopclimate.org or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Bishop Climate Ministries, a place where the captives are set free.